this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to get Discord onto your Steam Deck. So I want to press the Steam button and then switch on over to the desktop mode. So let's go to power, switch to desktop right here. And then once we're in the desktop mode, we can go to Discover and we can find an application that's going to be similar to Discord. So I have it down here at the bottom. It's called Vestop for some reason. So I'll just open this up right now and I'll show you. It's basically Discord. Now, I don't know why they don't have Discord on here anymore, but you can get this still. And it's just a little client here. So it'll be like the same thing. So here's one of the groups I'm in. We can go to, you know, just a, a chat and join it, whatever. But to get this, I'm going to close this down. We just want to go to Discover down here at the bottom. And then type that in. What's it called? The Vestop. And it should pop up. Desktop, press enter, and here it is. It says, snap your Discord app with Vencord. Click this, install in the top right, and it's pretty much the same thing. It's good, five stars. So if I type in Discord, press enter, we have messages, voice, and video client. We have this right here we can get then we have web cord. So yeah, we have Discord is free for uh, messages and stuff. So you can download this one as well if you really want. And this is from Discord. So you might have trouble trying to find this. It says, I was able to download the app and go on calls. My friends can hear, hear me, however I can't hear them no matter what. So if this is useless for you, try Vestop. Otherwise, you can just go with the normal Discord application under here. Uh, still doesn't work. So this uh, this one sometimes shows up for me. I tried searching for it before, didn't show up for me. And people are saying it doesn't work. So if it doesn't work, just get Vestop. And you can see I have a link down here at the bottom. It works. It's Discord. And then you can add this to Steam. But I don't know if it doesn't uh, work. So a lot of times I'll just open this application, I'll join uh, a lobby in here, and then I'll just go to Steam. And then I'll launch a game from the desktop mode. So I just go to my lab library in here, start up a game. Or what you could do is go to add non-Steam game, right here on the bottom, and then find Vestop. So I already have it added down here, but just select it, and then go to, oh, here's Discord. I go to add selected program. And then here, and then I can switch back over to the game mode. And then I can add this in the game mode. So we'll just wait for this to switch on over. And I'll show you how to add a non-Steam game. Well, it should be added now already. So you just have to select it. Maybe I'll sign into Discord and see if this works on here. But it was the last week when I tried. So you do have other options. if one application doesn't work, which is nice. So this is loaded up here. Let's go to here and go all the way to the right. Go to view more in your library. Then go to the right and go to non Steam games right here. And here's Discord. I can click on this and play it. It's going to launch it when I in the game mode. So sometimes with applications, it's hit or miss in the game mode. But it looks like Discord is uh, downloading and working and now I have to sign in so try discord if discord doesn't work try vestop or a different client and I know discord works in the the game mode pretty well so hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out if it did leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below for more technical videos coming up next time your six tech